Now at the weekend I went to uh, Jimmy's farm uh, with my uh, nephew, uh, brother and sister-in-law. Uh, first of all we stopped off and had a, a spot of lunch uh, in a uh, riverside pub. And after a wonderful, exciting lunch at the pub, we're uh, now at Jimmy's farm. Ben, are they? They're feeding him at Let's go on a chicken safari with some ducks. Uh, these are strange long necked chickens that look a bit like ducks. <laughs> Here are some funny chickens. No, it doesn't really say what they are. We should sort of tag them, I think. And then I'd know what they were. Should have paid it on its back. Not many chickens. Smiling on his tip. They're funny, aren't they? Sick Ducks. Ducks. Come on in. And that was the chicken safari in Suffolk with additional duck. They had a uh, science day at the farm, uh, which was quite good. Uh, some experiments went well. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> some were mediocre. I have one of these. You don't. You have little flaps inside of your ears, okay? Um, you might want to put your fingers in. Guys, I'm going to go this way, isn't it? Oh, it's going to go this way. Oh, it's going to go There we go. And others went less well. This is called a Rubens tube. A Rubens tube is a fantastic thing. Really because we've got gas coming in one side. Oh, I'll just take it. I'll take it. Wow. It goes down again sometimes. Put we'll gas in one side, and there is a speaker on the other side. Now, what are sound waves? I mean, when, when you think about it, what actually is a sound wave? What's going to happen if I vibrate the gas inside that tube? What's going to happen to the size of the waves? They're going to grow bigger. You can find out. Oh, 
Okay. Normally what happens is you actually get a sine wave in the flames, but I think...